So I had uh, someone I talked to recently on the phone. Um, she said that keto didn't cure my diabetes. Okay, so she wanted to talk to me, and uh, because in one of the videos I said that it would, you know, fix her blood sugars, it would help stabilize A1C, and she would be cured. Well, I don't remember ever using the word cure, but I will say that keto does help balance your sugars and normalize your A1C. So I wanted to find out what she was talking about, so I started asking her questions, and this is what she said. She said, I did the program for six weeks. I normalized my blood sugars. I even was able to get off my medication. But as soon as I went back to my normal diet, my regular diet, it came back. I thought keto was supposed to cure my diabetes. Okay, So let me explain what I said to her and where the real problem is. It's basically faulty logic. Her normal or regular diet is really not the normal or regular diet. Take a look at this, keto. Keto actually has 5% of all the calories should be carbs. Her diet, which is the standard American diet, is 65% carbs. Okay, so the food pyramid right now recommends between 45 and 65% of all your calories should be carbohydrates, okay? Look at the difference from 5% to 65%. That is not normal, okay? If we go from 23 grams of carbs per day to 300 grams of carbs per day, this is 13 times more carbs than should be consumed in your body. If you take a look at someone's blood sugars, okay, normal blood sugar should be about 80. What does this mean, 80? This means that you should have about no more than one teaspoon of sugar in all of your blood. It's like a gallon and a half of blood, okay? That's just a tiny bit. That is such a small amount. Our bodies were not designed to have this much carbohydrate. They were designed to have this much carbohydrate and this percentage right here. This is really normal. This should be your regular diet. When you do this, you actually create diabetes. So I told her, we're not trying to cure disease with a certain treatment. All we're trying to do is bring you back to your real normal diet, which is right here. This should be the diet you should be on naturally, and that way you can avoid a lot of problems down the road. But the big confusion that this lady had was that she assumed this was normal simply because everyone else is doing it. It's being promoted as the food pyramid that everyone should be on. That is the false information right there. So it's just a normal way of eating to maintain your health and minimize all the other complications that come with this diet right here, which is very abnormal. Hey, before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today.